Hey everybody, this is Coach Tara. I wanted to talk to you guys today about um, something that I've noticed a lot. I've seen a lot, and I've seen it throughout my entire career. I'm not naked, guys. I have my bathing suit on. I'm going to the beach, or the pool. Um, Alright, so I'm going to make a video here. Okay? Do you want everyone to say hi to you? Hi. Okay. Um, and I, I recently talked to a gentleman. He's a really nice guy, and uh, he's kind of just been beat up by the whole, you know, work from home opportunity kind of things. And I totally get it. You know, I feel you. I totally get get it. However, I want to ask you a question. I want to ask everyone a question. I'm not sending this video over to him. If he sees it, awesome. But if not, it's all good. Uh, I, I was watching a video by Ray Higdon today. I actually shared on my business page where you're watching this probably. And it has to do with um, the people that have just been, you know, knocked around, knocked around by life, knocked around by things and just having all different kinds of things that happen to us, especially when we, we try to work from home. You know, it's, it's not easy. Just like uh, having a six figure job isn't easy. Um, there's a lot to it. And sometimes we fail. And luckily most most, you know, it's it's not like opening a restaurant and losing everything in three months because restaurants do that. They fall apart in 90 days. It's crazy. Um, it, it's not like you're going to go through that. But you will experience some loss while you're growing. And, um, you know, the thing is, I, I, I have a question I posted on my Facebook page. If you went to a restaurant and you had a really bad experience, would you stop eating out? Maybe you just wouldn't go back to that restaurant, but would you stop eating out? Um, absolutely not. Of course not. Uh, absolutely not. It's, it's absolutely crazy. The difference between people that find success in the home-based business arena and the people that don't is this. They go through tons of failures until they don't anymore, and they learn from them. Uh, one of my favorite people, Lisa Torres. She started a uh, home-based business industry, uh, I think it's going on 21 years ago now. Yeah, it's 21 years ago now, and at least. She never made more than $18 um, up until about four years ago. She experienced all the things she had experienced. She tried different things. She honed her craft. She kept learning and trying and learning and trying and learning and trying. She never quit. She had down times, she had up times, but she never made any money. And the average person would be like, ah, I can't do that. But people like Lisa Torres say, mm, it's just not ready yet. Uh, they're always moving forward. And now she's a multiple, multiple six figure earner. She's building her first dream home. She is experiencing income like, like you wouldn't believe. And it's not because She's got anything on anyone. She's not better than anybody, but I tell you what, she's got the, the, the tenacity to keep working on it. And that is the most amazing thing. Uh, people like Ray Higdon, you know, eight years ago, he was in personal foreclosure and he failed and 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 failed. And right now he's one of the um, top earning network marketing coaches on the planet. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. The difference between people that get burnt out and beat up by, you know, working from home are the people that weren't built for it. They are quitters. They, they don't want to keep looking or keep trying. And, you know, some of it's not all the people's fault. Sometimes it's, you know, th there's a reason why the FTC kind of hammers down on a lot of stuff, especially lately. They're just not putting up with it anymore. As the people get bought, they get sold the dream and they don't think about it from a business perspective and that causes a lot of problems. And even though, yeah, you've got to have dreams and goals and set your sights high, but if you don't have something to offer people that is affordable, that is something they're going to use that, um, isn't built on pipe dreams, it's built on integrity, then it's going to be harder for people to have success. However, that doesn't mean that you can't. If you keep going, everything's going to be all right. You know what? I'm not quitting. Heck no. And it just gets better every day. 
And I want to encourage you, if you really have, you have something out there that you want to do with your life, it might take, it might take as short a period of time as it did for Ray Higdon. It might take as long as it did for Lisa Torres. But the, the truth of the matter is, if you've got something that you're really working towards. I love you all. And working for, like an awesome granddaughter like my Stella, you don't stop. You don't stop. That's crazy. That's craziness. You keep moving forward. You keep building your skills. And you're going to win. No doubt about it. So with that being said, I'm going to the pool. I'll see you all on the other side. Peace.